Guys, whenever you are out in the market to buy an LED bulb, what kind of options do we get? Yeah, the bluish and glaring cool white or the dull and dingy yellowish warm white. Yes, if you look a bit harder and if you're lucky, then you can find neutral white LED bulbs. But guys, what if I tell you that you can get all of these three colors in a single bulb? You can switch the colors without Wi-Fi and all of it is available at a very reasonable price. Yes, guys, presenting the Philips scene switch. I brought four of these bulbs recently and this bulb will allow you to switch between cool daylight that is 6500 Kelvin, warm white that is 3000 Kelvin and neutral white also known as natural white that is 4000 Kelvin. So the box design looks something like this. The particular model that I brought is 10 watts and this thing comes with eye comfort technology. Guys, don't worry, I'm going to test all of this thing for you in this particular video, just stick around. So here you can see that different kind of colors and their respective scenes have been explained. I'm not going to waste your time by reading all of this specification. You can pause the video and read this thing if you're interested. The bulb is from latest batch that is from 2024. So the box design is pretty simple. Let's unbox the bulb and check how it looks from the inside. And here, in the first impression, the bulb looks actually pretty normal. This looks like your very average LED bulb that you can buy, but this thing is hiding a secret. Yes, that is the color changing technology. And one thing that I immediately noticed with this particular bulb is that like, how light is this? If I compare this particular bulb with my 10 year old bulbs again from Philips, this new LED bulb has almost a quarter of weight, you know, only a quarter of weight compared to the old Philips LED bulb. Guys, what used to happen is that the older bulb designs used to have a little driver over here and then the driver used to power an MCPCB board and that MCPCB board used to have a bunch of LED chips on them. But recently due to cost cutting, a lot of brands have started moving on to DOB that is driver on board. So has Philips moved on to DOB design? Well, I don't know. For that, I'll have to crack open this bulb. And if you want to see what is inside video with respect to this bulb, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that whenever I crack this bulb open, the respective video can come to you just like that. So this is the basic physical overview of the Philips 3-in-1 bulb. Let's plug it in and let's check out its light output. Guys, my setup is ready, so let's turn it on. And speaking about the brightness, I think that the brightness is decent. It's not super bright, nor it is super dull. This is like your, you know, average 9 or 10 watt LED bulb. So I cannot complain about the brightness. It's pretty decent. And I've connected it to my trusty watt meter. This is a Meko watt meter. And here we can see that the wattage being shown on this particular meter is 7.3 watts. And this particular bulb is advertised as 10 watts. You can see here the bulb says 10 watts, but the actual power consumption is slightly less as found on my power meter. Let's change the scenes and you can change the color of this bulb simply by turning it off and on something like this. And this is the warm white color and the power consumption again is 7.3 watts. Let's go to the neutral white setting, which is again one of my favorite colors. I absolutely love this one. And the power consumption still manages to stay below 8 watt. So I can say that the power consumption of this bulb is somewhere between 7 to 8 watts. Let's check the other parameters being shown on this Meko power meter. So here we can scroll up. And you can see that the electricity supply at my house is pretty standard. It's almost perfectly 50 Hertz. So nothing wrong over there. The voltage is 215 or 216 volts. Again, pretty decent. The current consumption is 47 milliamps. And the power factor of this LED bulbs is 0 0.76, which is, I can say a little low because I have reviewed a variety of Philips bulbs in the past and most of them had their power factors about above 0 0.9 or above 0 0.95. Yes, the review videos are available right here in the i button or in the description if you want to check them. So power factor can be improved a little bit. It should be at least 0 0.85 or 0 point, you know, 0.9. And again, we are back to the wattage reading. So I'm not really sure what's causing the low power consumption of this particular bulb. If you have any idea with respect to this thing, let me know in comment section below. Guys, if you want to buy a trusty watt meter, something like this, or if you want to buy the LED bulb themselves, 
All kinds of affiliate buying links will be available in the video description or in the first comment for you guys. Make sure to use those affiliate links to support my work. Guys, welcome to the Flickr test and I'm going to use my smartphone which comes with a slow motion camera to check out the Flickr. So where is it here? This is the slow motion camera and I'm not able to notice any kind of flicker with respect to this bulb. Can you see anything? Let's change the colors and let's see if that changes the flicker in any way. So I'm going to switch it. So this is the cool white. Again, no flicker. And this is the warm white. And thankfully, I do not see any kind of flicker with respect to this particular bulb. I had reviewed a Philips bulb in the past. It's this particular one. You can find it in the i button or description. And that particular bulb had really horrendous flicker. And I'm happy to report that this particular bulb does not have that kind of problem. Coming to the concluding part of this Philips 3-in-1 color changing bulb. Guys, the brightness is good. There is no flickering problem and you can change the colors directly using the switch without bothering with any kind of Wi-Fi or mobile apps. Guys, I remember that around 10 years ago, I brought a color changing 2-in-1 LED bulb again from Philips and back in those days, one bulb, yes, you heard that right, one bulb was available for 700 to 750 rupees review video available right here today these kind of three in one led bulbs are available for just 120 to 150 rupees so guys even if you are considering a normal led bulb you know a non color changing model you should absolutely consider this particular model because price is just the same why not go with the color changing model so buying links and latest prices are available in the form of affiliate links in the video description below guys my channel usually reviews and compares a lot of LED bulbs and informative videos with respect to those topics will pop up in the form of thumbnails right here on your screen you can directly click on any of these thumbnails and jump on those particular video and learn something new about LED bulbs today. That's it for this neat little video guys. I hope you like this one. Take care and have a nice day.